On this video, we are going to create an EDDM simplified list and pre-sort it for mailing so that you get your container tag to report and your facing slips. To create that file, we're going to go to Select, Create EDDM Address List. We're going to type in the zip code of the address, the zip code that we want to create addresses for, and we're going to choose Residential Only, or if you want Residential and Businesses, uncheck. Uh, you can also exclude city routes, exclude P.O. boxes, and exclude highway contracts, exclude rural routes. So those are choices if you need them. If you want to add more than one zip code, simply put a comma and type in the additional zip codes. For our purposes, we're going to use just one. We're going to click Build to create the list. And if you have a folder to put it in, save it there. If not, you can create a folder on the fly. It's always going to name it with the zip codes that you're creating the list from. So it, if you have more than one zip code, specifically, you know, five or six, it's going to be a very long name. So if you want to rename it before you save it, you can do so. AccuZip actually creates two files when it creates an EDDM list. One of those is your counts. And that will list the zip codes all the carry routes in the zip code, the residential addresses, and the possible addresses in that carrier route. And then it also creates a file that you can use for processing, which just basically has a record for every mailbox on the route. EDDM is saturation, so you can't split a route, but you could remove a route from the zip code. It will not create a list based on specific carrier route choices. You create the whole zip code and then you remove the routes that you don't want to mail to. So we're going to go to select and search editor. And in the search editor, we're going to choose zip code begins with our matches and we're going to enter the zip that we're looking in. And then we're going to use our and conjunction and we're going to use carry route matches items and list and list the carry routes that we want to delete. Down at the bottom, we're going to choose delete matches close the window and count the matches just so we know how many we're deleting. And then we're going to click search. So we've got 2,497 matches. Those are deleted. Uh, deleted records do not go to pre-sort. So you could leave those in if you wanted to or you could pass them out uh, so that you just have the list that you want to mail to. And then we're going to go directly to pre-sort because uh, an ADDM list does not need validation. We're going to choose uh, EDDM standard mail, profit or non-profit according to what your customer is. Um, let's say we do a 8.5 by 11 since that's a flat. And piece of card stock would be about 0 0.015 and then maybe 0.3 on the weight. You, of course, would weigh and mic the mail piece that you're actually using. That's going to give us a flat. We don't need to print barcodes or useful service for EDDM. It is machinable. You've got imprint meter stamps right here. Most EDDM is imprint. And then you have your choice of sacks. And you will always want to check include non-zip plus four and include carrier route on an ADDM mailing. And then um, let's use the SCF nearest the zip code that I chose. And so we can enter for SCF rates if we want to also. And we're just going to pre-sort the mail. So your print tags will look basically like all your print tags. We'll just do a preview so you can see those really quickly. And of course with the flat, these would be SAC tags with an intelligent mail barcode. And then your reports, we're going to choose qualification report mailing statement. If you need an 8125 for 
a DDU drop. It's right here. We'll look at that in just a minute. And then, of course, your facing slips. Set up your mailing statement. Set up screen according to your customer or yourself. Click Continue. I printed that to a PDF, so as always, your PDFs are in your pre-sort folder. They're always called e-documentation. Here is our 3602, our qualification report, and our facing slips. So you will have one facing slip for every bundle in the carrier route. The bundles will be according to the thickness of the piece that you put into the calculator when you pre-sort. And then of course you won't need to print labels because EDDM does not need labels. So on this job, since we chose an SCF, we got 16 cents. If we hadn't chose the SCF, we would uh, have about 20 cents. Um, and I'm going to show you very quickly before we end how to do a DDU setup. So let's say we want to send this to a specific post office that's delivering it so we get a destination entry. If you're going to send to all and you have several zip codes in your list, you'll want to create a name for the chart. And then simply choose Get DDU Zips, and that's going to give you all the possible DDU entries. Then click Save to add that to your pre-source setup, and in this instance you would want to uncheck the SCF since you're doing DDU drops, and then click Pre-source. You would want to print the 8125 with a DDU drop. So now we have a DDU entry rate of 154. And your uh, postage reports will print you an 8125 to reflect that. If you have any additional questions, please call technical support or enter our chat. Thank you for watching our video.